Well, at this point, you must know now that the periodic table is, is anything but random. Every column, every period, every specific box, every location has a reason. Have you ever wondered why the periodic table has the shape it has? It's interesting. The shape of the periodic table belongs to the electron configuration. If you see, as you can see, I split the periodic table in blocks. So there are two blocks. Do you remember S, P, D, and F orbitals? Well, the first two columns belong to the S orbital. Then this part belongs to P orbital. The transition metals, which is the B block, remember the B family, belongs to the D block, T, D orbital. And the transi inner transition metals belong to F block. Do you remember how many electrons can fit into S orbital? Two, and it has two columns. How many electrons can fit in P orbital? Six, and it has six columns. D has 10 columns and F has 14 columns. Amazing, isn't it? So, what about the period? Remember, in the first video you study, we said there were seven periods, which are these horizontal lines you can find in the periodic table. So the number of the period corresponds to the level of energy where that element is located. For example, hydrogen, you know hydrogen is placed in here. Hydrogen has an electron configuration of 1s. One, right? So one belongs from the period number S because this is the S blocks and one because it has one electron. What about helium? What is the electron configuration of helium? One is two. Again, one comes from the period S from the S block and two because it has two electrons. As you can see, again, again, helium is not well, well located in here. It should be moved, look, from this place into the S block. Do you remember we had an issue with hydrogen? Because we said it has uh, it is located here, but it is a gas. It, hydrogen must be here somewhere. The same is happening with helium because it is here and should be with the S block. You will see why it isn't. Now you see why hydrogen is placed in here. Because he belongs to the S groups, although it is not a metal. And, well, let's continue. We were saying that the period is the number of the level of energy. And now it is easier for you to understand why inner transition metals are located outside of the periodic table, because they are a different block. They belong to F orbital. Every element, every element has a unique ending of the electron configuration. Whatever element is located here will finish with 2s2. Whatever element located here will finish in 4s2. How am I going to know all the, the numbers? Because I need to count the rows, the periods, right? Whatever element is placed in here will finish in P, P 
because it is in block P, in level 3, level 3, block P, and how many electrons? 2. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that's it. It means that all the elements belonging to group 1A will end with S1. All elements finishing in 2A will end with S2. All the elements in 3A will finish in P1, P2, P3, P4, and P6. P6. Okay, here, here you can see another way to study this electron configuration. Remember that alkali, alkali metals are located in group number one. So all alkali metals have an electronic configuration ending S1. All alkali earth metals will end with S2. All elements of the Born family will end in P1. All elements of the carbon family or calgogens will end in P2, and so on, P3, P4, P5, and P6. Do you recognize this diagram? Do you have any reminder of this? Yes, of course. It looks like a bow chart. Remember the one we used to draw in classroom? But we just need to move this to this side and this one to the other side. But if you see, it's the same. It, it's, it is the periodic table. 1s, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the s block. Then we should move the p block into here. And the p block begins in 2. That's why in Aufbau chart, we begin in number two. Then the D block, remember that we begin with number three. And then the fourth. So it has a scientific research behind. We use Aufbau chart to help us to deduce this electron device. But it has to do with the periodic table. It is the periodic table, actually.